This is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to assess the upper and lower extremities. And if you would like to watch a complete head to toe nursing assessment, you can access this card up here in the corner or in the YouTube description below. Now before performing this skill, you'll want to perform hand hygiene, provide privacy to the patient and tell them what you will be doing. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to inspect the extremities and we're looking for any lesions, any redness, swelling, and this is a good time if they have a central line, an IV, that you look at that, make sure it's not red. Does the IV need to be changed? Does that pick line or central line need a dressing change? Assess that. Then you can palpate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna palpate our pulse, our radial artery. So fill those bilaterally, and they are two plus and they're equal. Then we're gonna check capillary refill, and to do that, we're just gonna press down on that nail bed and see how fast it comes back, and it's less than two seconds. Then we're gonna check skin turgor, Bob, it's pinching the skin and see how fast it goes back and that was good. Then we're just gonna look at the range and the motion of the fingers and the hands. Look at these joints in the hands. Do you see anything abnormal? Like for instance, like herbidine or Bouchard's nodes, which are found in osteoarthritis. And ask the patient, are you having any pain in your hands or anything like that? No. no. Then you can palpate the brachial artery, which is found in the bends of the arm and just feel those because that's another pulse site and those are two plus. And just as a side note, if this was a patient that was getting uh, dialysis and they had an AV fistula, you would wanna palpate that and feel for the thrill, make sure that that is present up in that arm wherever their fistula is at. Then you wanna test the muscle strength. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you squeeze my fingers as hard as you can, okay? Okay, that's really good. Then I'm gonna have you push up against my hands and I'm gonna push up against your arms. Okay, push. Okay, very good. Okay, and five plus normal strength. Then we're just gonna test his, put your hand underneath the elbow and just feel as you move the arm. Do you feel any grating, crepitus of those joints? A lot of times in arthritis, you can feel that and move that bilaterally. Another thing you wanna do with the upper extremities is to check for a drift. And what you will do is you'll have the patient hold out their arms and close their eyes, hold it up for about 10 seconds, and you're looking for a drift like this. So go ahead, do that and close your eyes, okay? And we're assessing to see if this hand will drift upward. And a lot of times, if a patient has had a stroke, okay, you can put them down, has had a stroke or something like that, you will see a drift. Now we're going to assess the lower extremities. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna inspect, we're gonna look at the color from the legs to the toes, making sure it's nice and pink. And here we see that Ben has a little bit of a tan line. And um, we're looking at the hair growth as well. You wanna make sure there's normal hair, hair growth because in PVD, you will see hairless, shiny, thin legs. And here we have excellent hair growth. And um, also, do you see any abnormal swelling just right off the bat before you've even touched the patient? And look at the legs and the feet for any swelling, redness swelling. Do you have any pain or anything in your legs, anything no. like that? And look in the, at the joints, make sure there's no redness on the joints because a lot of times with gout, it likes to start out in the big toes to so make sure that everything looks good. And then on your diabetic patients, make sure you look at the bottoms of their feet because these patients don't have the best feeling in their feet. So their shoes could be wearing on them or they could have stepped on something and not even know it. So inspect those feet, make sure there's no ulcers or anything that like that that needs to be addressed. Also look at the toenails. Do the toenails look healthy? Or is there fungus? Or are they missing toenails? Or they have a really bad ingrown toenail? So assess for that. Next, you wanna palpate your pulses. We'll palpate the popliteal pulses, which are behind the knee. And those are about two plus, they're equal bilaterally. And I'm just feeling his legs, they're nice and warm. And I'm going to push over his tibia firmly and I'm seeing if there's any edema. So push there. And if there is edema, a lot of times when you push down, it's like this hard like type gel. It'll just separate and your finger will leave this indention. And here we don't have 
any. Now we're gonna palpate on the feet and we're gonna feel on the pulses and I'm gonna don gloves, perform hand hygiene, don gloves and we're gonna feel on the pulses in the feet. We're gonna feel on the posterior tibial. And two plus, really good. And then we're gonna feel the dorsalis pedis which is on top of the foot. Two plus with that. And if you can't ever find these, because sometimes these are hard to find in patients, you can get a Doppler if you have one on your floor. Next, I'm gonna check the capillary refill on his toes, just like how we did with the fingers by pushing down. In less than two seconds, check the other one. Okay, now I'm going to have him push against my hands. Push against my hands, Ben. Okay, good job. Now I'm gonna have you raise your legs against resistance. Good job. Now we're gonna check the Babinski reflex and you can use your reflex hammer for this and use the end of it. Or you can use your finger if you don't have that. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take this up through the ball of the foot and curve it and we're looking for the toes to curl in which would be a negative normal response so let's check that okay okay and that was normal then we're going to doff our gloves and perform hand hygiene okay so that wraps up how to assess the upper and lower extremities and don't forget to check out the complete nursing head to toe assessment video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos